sleeve. You promised me. Hey YouTube, it's Justin the Snap On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Uh, I am doing fucking great. Uh, sorry for my absence, uh, but for a lot of you, you already know. Enzo was born uh, last Wednesday at 8.08 .08 in the morning. Uh, he is doing awesome. He's a feisty little bastard, let me tell you. He, uh, he's pretty strong. Uh, he likes to move around a lot, like, you know, and if he doesn't want you touching him, you ain't gonna touch him. He's uh, quite interesting. I will throw a clip of him uh, if I can get it to import. Uh, hopefully, it'll be at the end of this uh, video. Um, but let's talk about, so as usual, I'm sitting in the hospital, got nothing to do because A, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't suck on my boob. The hell am I going to do? Just sit there and watch him, you know? But, uh, so I was there a couple days. I did not spend the night because, you know, hospital couches suck balls. Uh, so I didn't want to be there and I'm, I'm not a hospital guy, you know, like I will cut my leg off and be like, you know, well, it'll be fine. You know, let's see what happens here. I, I don't really like to go to hospitals, but anyway, so I bought a bunch of shit in the hospital. Uh, this is just half of it, but what I'm trying to do is, is while I was in the hospital, I got a phone call, and I had to go out. Uh, luckily, the hospital was right close enough to where uh, the trucks were working, and the CB radio got all fucked up, like the mic shorted out, and it dead keyed like 150 watts for 30 minutes, and almost caught the cab of the truck on fire. So that was one of my nights uh, at the hospital. That was at three o'clock in the morning. But luckily I was home. But I had to come down here to get some tools because I knew they weren't in the truck. So I thought, well shit, I probably need to get some shit that stays in the company vehicle in my pickup truck just so I don't have to drive the extra 20 minutes down to the shop. So that's what I got going on here today. Uh, most of this stuff is from Amazon. Um, I did order some stuff from uh, factory gear in Japan. Um, they have a cool tool line, which is their house tool line. We'll talk about that here in a minute. And uh, stuff like that. And KC Tools in Amazon is where I got some of this stuff. So uh, let me get a drink here because it's hotter than fuck. You know, it's 91 degrees here in Cincinnati today. Hot. So... We'll get right into this. So this stuff is from Amazon, and these are PB Swiss screwdrivers. They come with this sweet little holder, uh, which I am not gonna use, but um, I got a set of their Phillips screwdrivers here. Now, their handles feel really different than any other type of handle that I've felt. Like, the rubber is real like grippy. I don't know if you can see that. So I got a set of Phillips screwdrivers there. Uh, again, that's by PB Swiss. Save those for last. And um, I got the slotted screwdrivers. And, you know, they, they have the black caps so you can tell them the difference. And I'm really impressed with their, you know, if you could see their fucking shit here, I probably got it too close. You know, their uh, their build quality is not, is really nice. The one thing that I wish that they would have, and these don't, is a bolster on here that you could get more torque with. Um, but they don't have one on these. Um, I did order a set of striking screwdrivers, so hopefully they got those on there. All right. All right, so a lot of you guys have been seeing other YouTubers of the Big Six. They've been getting uh, a lot of stuff in from this Vampire Tools company. And, you know, they never contacted the junkie. So uh, <clears throat> I just said, fuck it. <clears throat> I'll buy it from Amazon. So what I got is uh, these little pliers, okay? And what these are is they're called like a C-clip plier. You know those stupid C-clips and they got that thing... Well, this uh, you can put right down in there, the C-clip right down in there and hold it. I thought that was pretty cool. So I was like, shit, you know, I got to get these. And these are called Engineer PZ-01s. So I got those. 
Um, I got a set of mini screwdriver or mini pliers. For some reason, I'm a sucker for mini pliers, but these are going to ride in my uh, pickup truck. And then I have these. Um, they're a soft grip plier, but they're also slip joint, which is pretty cool. And they come with an extra set of soft jaws. Um, and again, these are engineer, uh, engineer pliers or whatever. They're made in Japan, which is pretty awesome. Then I decided I need to get a set of shears. And you guys see those vampire ones that those guys got? They're just these with a red handle. Uh, I paid $26 or something, I think, for these shipped. And Engineer wants like $40. Or, uh, you know, Vampire Tools wants 40 bucks for the exact same thing. So we're done with that. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let me go get something to show you uh, what these are right here. All righty, guys, let's talk about what these are. So these are an SK uh, tool here. I got these off Amazon, and what these are is what they call like an Eaton style snap ring pliers okay I looked at snap-on and all they had was blue point ones and I had a feeling that they were some rebranded shit and I went to the I looked on eBay to see, or on Amazon to see if they had these and they had these SKs that were made in America so I thought for the $26 or 30 some bucks I don't even know what all this shit cost I didn't pay attention um, I would just get them there. Okay, now what these are is this is a type of clamp, uh, like a C-clip, that goes on an Eaton Fuller transmission. Okay, this is what holds uh, the front of the input shaft in, like after you get the bearing and all this shit in there. And let me tell you, these motherfuckers are a bitch if you don't have the right tool. So as you can see right here, what these have in there is a little hole okay on both sides and they're kinda like uh, you know they got like a knurl on there so what you do is, is you put it in there just like that and now this spreads out your snap ring so you can slide it on the shaft if you will and get it on there so that's what these are for so if you ever run into uh, if you're ever taking apart Eaton Fuller transmission I bet some other type of transmissions use these exact same type of clips you know they're kind of like beveled or whatever but that's what these are for so these are going to stay here in the shop alrighty alright and then also I bought a Weira magnet uh, magnetizer and demagnetizer uh, you know just to have it fuck whatever so now we're getting into red Tiffany boxes you know um, I will give a shout out to a dude, uh, Mike's Tool Shed. It used to be Mike's Tool Review. He uh, bought these and did a review on them. And dude, I've been jealous since you got them. So uh, I looked at them on uh, Amazon and I bought them. So this is just uh, drive pin punches, okay? And um, I like to have a bunch of different drive pin punches. Uh, you never know when you might need this. Um, I do have snap-on ones, too. Uh, but you never know. You might fuck one of these up and need another one. So, you know, that's my uh, red Tiffany boxes. And then uh, the other box is dry pin punches. Again, they're the same as those. They're just long. They're just longer. So uh, these are about 8 inches long, I think. You know, I fucking whatever you guys get it you know if you're watching this channel it's you know what the fuck you know tools are about so then uh the next thing i got was from a uh, factory gear okay and they're like a tool store in J japan like japan doesn't have like tool trucks and all that shit i think maybe some snap-on trucks are over there but a lot of times like you walk into this mom and pop shop uh, and they got all this shit just in a wall, you know, like tools from all over different countries. So I bought, uh, you guys all know, I love these zero offset wrenches. And these are going to stay in my truck. Um, these are a Japanese one. Um, it's their f house tool brand. It's called Dean, uh, D-E-N, so two E's, you know, just Dean. Uh, and let me tell you, these Japanese people, I don't know what the fuck it is, but they know how to chrome shit, dude. 
Like, you can see yourself in this goddamn thing. So, I bought a set of these, and again, these weren't very much money. I think like a hundred bucks. And uh, they're made in, I, I think this Dean Company is made in Taiwan. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's made in uh, Japan. But it comes in this cool little box. It says, with the spirit of the Japana Japanese sword, which this stuff is absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to get some more of this Dean stuff. Uh, you know, they make, you know, just cool little tools. They don't have a huge line, but they make some cool stuff. So, you know, I got that. And I got this little keychain. It's 10 millimeter here. And it just goes on. It's a little 10 millimeter ratchet. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's just pretty cool. Something a little novelty, uh, you know, that, hey, why not have a keychain? So, this is the last two things that I got. And this is what I'm going to keep the tools in in my truck. It is the Weira to go system. And I first saw this on another guy's page, uh, the German tool review dude. He just did a review of how durable this box is. Like, he let his pit bull chew on this fucker, you know. And uh, they held up real good. So what it is here, again, you know, this Weira stuff is real nice, guys. I mean, it's just a cool little... Uh, Get, the, get this out of the fucking way here. Hold on here. <clears throat> this big ass box. You know, they package this stuff so nice. You know. Alright. So, what this is, is you can, you know, it has really nice Velcro. It has uh, two different type of handles. And then it has this little pouch in this thing. Okay, and this is where, like where I'm going to put my screwdrivers, drivers, uh, you know, pliers and stuff. And you can separate it in this cool little cart. And then it goes down in here. Okay, and then this is a toolbox. You can either put it on the outside of it like that. Or um, you can put it up over here. I mean, this Velcro is the shit. And it'll fit down inside of this box that's what I wanted it for so I still have to get some more stuff to put in uh, the dump trucks or in my pickup truck uh, there's still some more stuff on order but I thought I'd show you guys half of the stuff that came in uh, like I said really bored sitting at the hospital and uh, kind of had a need of some shit you know like what are we gonna do I don't want to drive 30 minutes back to the shop every time to get shit. So I thought, you know, bam, we got my own tools in my own pickup truck, and it's going to be really awesome. So that's what this is for right here. And uh, when we add more stuff, uh, we'll get to that point. All right, so that was the, that was the tool haul uh, at the hospital. There's still more of it coming in. That was about half of it. Uh, the next stuff's going to filter in. Like, some stuff isn't going to come in until, like, next month. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. But anyway, uh, that's the stuff that I bought this week. Uh, I do have uh, another grip-on video coming out uh, that I'm going to try to film this week. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done. Uh, I'm kind of pressed for time. Plus, I want to stay home and, uh, you know, feed the baby and stuff. Uh, feed Enzo. This is a pretty... Uh, what do you call that important time you get to bond with them and then they look at you and it's kind of hard to leave them uh today i had to come down and fix a truck though uh you know it threw the belt for the alternator off of it so i had to get uh some new belts to put on there but that's why i'm here so i thought fuck it i'll do this video for you guys because i haven't done one in a while like i said i'll try to throw the clip of enzo in there that i got of him uh it's pretty cool i'll throw a couple clips in there of him just so you guys get to see, I mean, it's pretty, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people said this was going to be hard, and right now it's it's going pretty well. I don't want to jinx it, but, you know, fuck, he's not too bad. But anyway, also, guys, uh, you know, remember to check out the Snap-on Collectors on uh, Facebook. Uh, be a member of that group. Great group. It's run by me and Joel from the Snap-on Tool Review. Uh, you know, that, that group is growing faster than we ever expected it to. Uh, go to my Instagram, thesnaponjunkie.com, and then go to the Snap-on Junkie 
Facebook.com uh, and purchase your stickers. Uh, we got the fucking Focus ones. Uh, we have Enzo stickers and the Ferrari font, which are pretty cool. And we have uh, really nice vinyl stickers uh, for your toolboxes. They're really nice. Uh, remember to go there and check that out. Uh, purchase your stuff. It just helps support this channel. And also, if you'd like to buy any of this stuff, um, I will have my wife get the Amazon link updated with all the stuff that I bought recently. And if you guys want any of that stuff, it will be in uh, the links in the description on my Amazon affiliate page. Also, uh, KC Tools affiliate is always in the description. Uh, my email is always in the description if you guys want to send me stuff. Uh, I did talk to a guy about doing another ratchet restoration for him. Uh, he's supposed to write a little letter that we're going to talk about here on the YouTube page, uh, you know, about his life and what he's got going on and what this ratchet means to him. And that was the idea. But, uh, you know, other than that, guys, uh, enjoy your, you know, work week. I'll try to get this up as fast as I can. Hopefully Tuesday I'll have this thing up. We'll see. Uh, what else? I think that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm in a pretty good mood, so, you know, fuck it. Uh, like always, thanks for watching.